getting ready to start a new school year, the 21-22 year. I'm Mr. Moore, or Jeff Moore, your welding instructor. And I just want to put up a video for you and kind of uh, get you ready for what we will be doing and things we'll be working at. First of all, we want to start with safety. We got to cover safety thoroughly at, you know, you're young, so some of you have probably been around this type of work and some of you probably have never had any dealings with it. So we, we want to start with safety. It, it's important that you are able to work, participate in the shop and all that kind of thing, and uh, be safe while you're doing it. And there's what we call PPE, it's personal protective equipment. Now your welding class is not gonna be like any other class you've got. And the reason for that is, is welding, it, you're dealing with a tremendous amount of heat or fire, and so that poses uh, a different set of uh, guidelines we have to go by in order to protect ourselves. So the first thing, the first thing, and always protect your eyes. It's, your eyes are precious. If, if you lose an eye, it just, you're just at a disadvantage any way you go. And it's very simple. The rule is, if we are out in the shop, then we have on a pair of safety glasses. That's not, uh, there is no exception to that. You must protect those eyes because sparks are gonna be flying. All kinds of things going on in here when we're all out here working and things like that. So always keep, we, we do supply glasses for you. Now I have to have my prescription glasses, so I wear those, but if I'm gonna be grinding or something like that, then uh, I make sure that I put on a pair. I usually see good enough to do what I need to do. Listen, everything in welding has its own specific safety things you have to do. Like if we are arc welding, we gotta use our welding, that's called a helmet. We will go into those thoroughly so you know them very well. Not today, but that's part of our uh, curriculum. Today I just want to put something out there about the safety and what you can expect. You know, you we done covered your eyes. I think I've covered that thoroughly. Now you're, you're dealing with a lot of uh, heat and things like that, so you always want to weld or work with metal with gloves on it. These are my old gloves right here. You can tell they're well used, but they fit. I like them, but, and we do have gloves for you. And that helps protect your hands. You gotta realize that when you're arc welding or torching or whatever you're doing, thousands of degrees is right here at your hand. So if you don't put gloves on to reflect the heat back off and give you a little insulation, uh, it's very uncomfortable. I'm not gonna say you get burnt, but it is very uncomfortable and you can't really work that well. As far as, as clothes go with welding, I know it's hot up here. We're gonna start back in here in about a week, give or take a day or two, and it's gonna be really hot up here, so it does get uncomfortable. We, we do the best we can. We ventilate this place most of the time by we open the place wide open, open the doors and, and put a fan in the door to pull uh, air through the shop, that's called natural ventilation. But now over here in our booth, we have uh, suctions above in the ventilator, the big fan up there that actually pulls those fumes off. But we'll get into fumes and things when we get into arc welding. Right now, I just want to put something up here for you on personal protective equipment, which protects your body. Uh, Long sleeves, you, you do need to wear sleeves when you're arc welding because it puts out ultraviolet rays. Same thing as the sun, and if you are uh, sensitive to that type thing, if you sunburn easy and things like that, a welder will sunburn you big time if you don't cover up. It. It's simple. Uh, do you need to wear a long sleeve all day? No, you do not. Only when you're arc welding is it necessary to wear long sleeves, long pants, of course, Boots are needed really because they protect your feet from sparks, metal could fall off in the floor, that kind of thing. Just you have to uh, dress pretty heavy when you weld. But our welding helmet, what this does for those of you who don't know, this 
is a called a filter lens right here. And when you arc weld, you're creating ultra red and ultra violet light, just like the sun. This filter lens is very dark, number 10 shade. It breaks that light up, dispenses it to where it is not harmful to your eyes, to put it simply. And these helmets, they got a band on them. You guys have yours. This is my personal hood here, but anyway, it goes on your head. You snug it down. And now you're, when you bring this down, mine is an auto dark and yours are too. We've replaced all of our older helmets with auto dark. So you don't have to worry about uh, holding your rod right and going down. I can see you right now. But now when I start welding, it'll automatically black out and protect my eyes from ultraviolet. The safety is, is about 98% common sense in watching what you're doing. Uh, power tools, you know, are spinning at a high rate of speed. If it gets up on you or whatever, it's gonna uh, cut you or whatever. So it's just it's common sense with a little bit of knowledge like I'm giving you now what to look for. Now, I've covered this pretty good on our protective equipment. I personally like to go out here to one of the Walmarts or somewhere and get me some of these cheap flannel shirts to wear in here because we do, uh, we're rough on them in here. They, they, over time, they get burnt up and things like that and sparks and all that. So, you know, there's no real reason to go out and spend a whole lot of money on clothes to come in here. Some of the guys like to say, hey, you may have welded in the morning and you might have uh, team sports in the evening. Well, you don't want to wear no big pair of boots around all day. Some of the boys like to bring their clothes, put them in the tool room back here, change out. And then when, when we're done, class is done, they switch back into their clothes that they're going to go on to the next class. That, that is perfectly okay. That is actually probably the way i would do it because i wouldn't wear big heavy boots all day around here if i had other class but that is totally and absolutely up to you you do whatever you want to uh, a grinder is one of the tools that we use on a regular basis i don't have this is a brand new one i haven't even brought it out yet but a grinding rock goes right in here and it grinds actually it just takes a layer of metal off very effectively we use them a lot to clean metal, to grind welds off, whatever. But you have to be careful with these things because they do have kickback potential about them because they're spinning. This disc, some of the guys like to say, hey, you may have welded in the morning, is spinning at about 7,500 RPMs and that's really fast. That's really fast. So it, it can, they put handles on them. Left or right, you can move it left hander or right hander. It's set up for a left hander right now. That's all right. You just make sure that you keep this grinder out here away from you. And be mindful when you're grinding. And believe me, you will be grinding in here because it is a very important part of what you're learning. Make sure that, like if there's a group of guys working over here, well, don't throw sparks right in on those guys. You're liable to hit them in the face and, or, you know, whatever. So be mindful of that kind of thing, and you just hang on to these things really good, and you won't have a bit of problem with them. Uh, that's a very important piece. We do, excuse me, we do some drilling occasionally, so we, you have to be careful with those. Don't let them twist you up in them. We got some of cords. These, these are battery powered. And so that's, that's just a quick, uh, run through of the safety. I look forward to seeing all of you so we can get started. We'll be uh, having three classes, one and a half hour classes this school year. Come ready to go and uh, we'll get out here and get in this stuff, get dirty once in a while, make noise, uh, burn rods. Do remember now, you're an entry level student. You'll be a level one. You're gonna be brand new. Be patient with this stuff, don't think Unless you've got experience, you're going to just come out here and go to burning rods like a 20-year veteran because you won't. It takes time. It's a skill that you have to learn to do, and it's all you. Once you learn it, it's like a bicycle. You never really forget it. Now, you might get out of practice a little bit if you don't do it a whole lot, but you will always remember. And I think most of you will enjoy this class. It'll be something 
that you can take with you and remember, possibly make your living doing it. I have been in welding since I was in high school, actually in this very shop right here. I took all three years up here. And when I got out of school, I pursued that, went into welding. And it's, it's been good to me. I've made a, a decent living at it. I enjoy it. And I'm sure you will too. But I look forward to seeing all of you. I hope this helps you kind of know what to expect when you come on in here. We'll drift into it. Go over safety face to face. Now, we will have a canvas page. This is what I like to do. What I'm doing right now, I love to make, with the help of my daughter, uh, make videos and put them up there for you guys and you can just go on your Chromebook and look at them and it helps you, I guess you might say you, you've got a teacher at your fingertips. So I try to put these up there. It's called Welder Man Gel. It's the YouTube, where you go on YouTube to get it. And you just click on them and watch them, man. And it, help, it will help you tremendously. Because what I put up here is for your benefit. I help you understand it Watch it whenever you want to and that sort of thing. But that's enough for now, and I will see you guys when you make it in.